1942 students. Today, I will be helping you uh, with the last lab, 450. I know you're very sad that it's the last one, but let's get to it. Okay, so the purpose of this lab is to make a few batteries and measure the cell potential using a voltmeter. So a summary of this lab is that in part one, you'll be building batteries with different concentration using different electrodes, which in this case is copper and zinc. And for part two, it's a little different because the concentrations will be entirely different because you will be either using copper or zinc. It's your choice. Okay, note that this lab is a very calculation heavy experiment. So make sure to bring your calculator and be ready to do some calculations. Sample calculation utilizing magnesium sulfate heptahydrate. Note, it's an example calculation, so do not use these grams for your experiment. So, as stated in your lab manual, we have zero. We start with 0.1 molarity, and to make the solution, we need water and the amount and grams of magnesium sulfate heptahydrate. So, we chose 50 milliliters. So, utilizing stoichiometry, we came up with 1.23 grams to add to 50 milliliters of water for battery one in part one. So now we are ready to make our batteries. So as we had already done our calculations, you put the solutions in the beakers. So now you use a sand strip. Make sure to sand your strips and that they are clean to remove any deposited material. So now you are ready to connect the voltmeter to each strip and put the zinc strip in the zinc solution and the copper strip in the copper solution. Once you have that, you can connect both beakers via the salt bridge and now be ready to measure the cell potential. Once you finish your calculations, make sure to add the right amount of copper and the correct amount of zinc. Now you are ready to make the solutions. Since we chose 50 milliliters of water to make our solution, that's what we will add to each beaker. Notice that it gets pretty full so you're gonna have to be very careful whenever you mix and connect your salt bridge to it. Now just mix it and dissolve. concentrations as stated in your lab manual. So as we notice, the first molarity is 0 0.10 molarity. And our desired amount of water is 50 milliliters and our new concentration is 0 0.001. So we are trying to find the volume necessary to make our new solution. So therefore, in this case, we will add 0 0.5 milliliters to the original solution plus 49.5 milliliters of water, since our desired solution is 50 milliliters. Note that 0.001 is the new concentration for the anodic solution, which is zinc, for battery two. Now for battery three, 0.001 is a concentration of the 
cathode solution, which is copper. Recall that for part two, you will use the same electrodes. In this case, we use copper. So you use your copper solution from battery one to make your new solution. Therefore, you can use your 0 0.10 molarity solution from battery one to make your 0 0.010 molarity solution. Whenever you connect your salt bridge to the beakers, make sure that it touches each solution because that is the only way that ions can pass through. Note that you need a new salt bridge for each battery that you make. Don't forget to soak it in potassium nitrate. Lastly, don't forget to dispense your waste in the heavy metals. Now I really hope this video helped you in some way and after this lab you're